Rainbows, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am doing a swatching of one of the newest releases from Line Crime which is their Girls 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 Velveteen Collection. So in this collection there are five new velveteens which are all nude colours and they are designed to match every single skin tone to be the perfect colour for all skin tones. On their website it describes them as all killer no filter say hello to five ultimate nudes that flatter literally every skin tone. They have done quite a few swatches on the Line Crime Instagram where they swatch it with many different skin tones and to be honest they actually do look really nice on all skin tones but in saying that as well that is just swatched on their arm. As well I wouldn't really say that every single colour in this collection is going to flatter every skin tone because I did find myself that some of the colours I didn't really quite like on me and it did make my skin look a little bit strange but I think the main collection is aimed at no matter your skin tone there is going to be a shade in this collection that is going to flatter you and look amazing on you. So not necessarily that every single shade is going to flatter every single skin tone. Maybe. <laughs> so this first shade I have on my lips at the moment is called L, and this is described as being an apricot nude lipstick. It definitely does have that kind of apricot-y vibe to it. It is more of a yellowy kind of blushed pink base. It's not exactly a cool tone, but it does have that kind of warmth undertone to it. It is quite a pretty shade. Um, it went on really, really smoothly. It feels really nice and hydrated on the lips. This is just one application. I do, however, feel that it can make your teeth look a little bit yellow that could just be me but yeah I do feel that it's yeah it, it's quite because of the yellow kind of undertones in the, the lipstick it can bring some of that yellow tone out in your skin as well as your teeth fun <laughs> okay so this next shade is called GG and it's ex explained it's described as being a taupe mauve shade on the line crime website I definitely feel that it has a lot of a kind of brownie hue to it. It is definitely a kind of darker nude or if you do have a deeper skin tone then this could be an absolutely gorgeous nude for you. On me personally it is a little bit of a darker nude so I think this is still quite a wearable colour to wear with you know pretty much any type of makeup. It's not too dark that it's kind of too overpowering if you have like a smoky eye or anything like that. It does almost have like a slightly pinky rose blush tone to it as well which I think is really pretty. So this next shade is called Sasha, which is described as being a toasted petal shade. I definitely feel that this is quite similar to the last shade that we just did, the Gigi colour. This does have more of a yellowy kind of pinky undertone rather than something that's more taupey or brown based. Uh, again, this is a really, really pretty colour application, just went on beautifully, it feels really nice on the lips, and again, it's just a really gorgeous nude, natural kind of shade. Okay, so this next shade is called Lulu, and this is described as being a peachy beige colour. So yes, I definitely feel it does have that real kind of peachy, apricot-y kind of nest to it. It has like a creamsicle yellow orangey hue to it. Me personally I don't know how much I like this shade. Uh, it is extremely pale um, and I do consider myself to be quite a pale kind of skin tone so I'm not 100% sure if I would really wear this that often. I feel that it does make my teeth look a little bit yellow. Uh, in saying that it could look really nice with like a really deep smoky eye if you wanted to go for quite a blanked out nude lip. It is probably one of their lightest shades, very similar to like the marshmallow colour in lightness. But yeah, again it went on quite nicely. I do feel that this colour could leave kind of brush marks just because of the paleness of the shade so you may need to do two coats if you really want it to be opaque or just be careful when you're applying it don't go backwards and forwards um, it does feel really really hydrating on the lips uh, probably more than the other colors that I've swatched so far so yeah <laughs> So this next shade is called Cindy and it's described as a terracotta brown. It definitely has that kind of orangey hue to it. It is quite similar to Shroom I think, but Shroom is a little bit more yellow kind of based, whereas this is a little bit more orangey based. Uh, again, application, as most of them went on really nice and smooth, this is just the one coat. I didn't think that it looks patchy or anything, it looks really nice and even, and I've got it on my teeth. Um, it's just a nice 
nice kind of shade. I'm not 100% sure if I do really like this shade. Uh, I feel that with me, it kind of can make my skin look a little bit off or a little, little bit green, or it could just be because I have the green background, but I don't know. I'm just not sure if this works as well with my kind of coloring, but for other people, it could be absolutely amazing. As well, I'm going to be doing uh, some more swatching videos, so you know my regulars, please. Sorry to bombard you with like all these line crime swatches. I, I promise there are more other swatching videos coming soon, but line crime has just been on a roll with releasing all these new collections, and I've been trying my best to like get them, and I'm kind of falling behind with doing the reviews. But bear with me, bear with me, it will be over soon, hopefully. <laughs>